as Chris El- Elliott once said on Get a Life, he's got the uh, the attention span of a circus monkey. <laughs> <laughs> we, were you into that show? Uh, uh, yes, yes, oh yes, my yes, gosh. yes. He d- made me so happy. In fact, my first big job was in Cabin Boy. Oh, that's right. Oh my was gosh. Was working with Chris Elliott, which Why was like Why didn't I a, bring that up? Yes, like a dream I won and a contest. And Adam. Yeah, and oh, Adam Resnick. Adam yeah, Resnick. Yeah. Oh my gosh. To me their work is like the Re- Rosetta Stone of modern comedy. Yeah. I just I love everything about and they're delightful people. Well, it was wonderfully formative for me too in that. You were wonderful in that movie. Oh, I mean, thank what you a so great much. job thank you did you. in that. Thank that was you. yeah. But it was wonderful for me in the sense that I my first big thing because I did I I was in like I had a bit part in another like in a what we used to call cable movies okay um, which do was do you a mind good taking movie. me through this or is this irritating because I would love to know how you auditioned and and I would love the story of how you because that was a good role oh. especially for a, a big role yeah yeah and it it, it was uh, I mean at at, at that time they were recognized as just the geniuses Absolutely. of, and of it was comedy a, it, yeah it was an auspicious thing yes and uh, you know and it had. It had Tim Burton behind it. Yes. Tim Burton and um, Denise DeNovi was his producer, and okay. she was there on set. Uh, Tim Burton, like, would pop in right. every now and then. Right. I had been in L.A., and I talked about this on the show. I did a, a, a live show called The Real Life Brady Bunch right. yes. that started in Chicago, went to New York, was in L.A., and that was winding down. And because of the popularity of that show, I had gotten an agent in New York based on being fucking Mike Brady. <laughs> <laughs> they had an affiliation with an agency out here, a little agency, like they called it a boutique agency, a little yeah. agency, actually just down the street from here, literally yeah. two blocks down the street. Yeah, boutique meant that you paid for all post office, <laughs> post office <laughs> <laughs> deliveries and right, things, right? right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, the clients covered well, the Well, I found out <laughs> the thing, that the real yeah. glue that bonded them all together was alcoholism. Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You mean um, like America? Like... <laughs> <laughs> But um, when I start, when I first came to LA, and I had these, I, you know, I came here with an agent, which was already so yeah. lucky, and they sent me out on everything, and I was aware, like I'm auditioning for all different kinds of things, <laughs> and and I got a job, I got like a little bit part, and again, it was like a really, it was a movie called the uh, incredibly. The allegedly true adventures of the Texas cheerleading murdering mom. Okay, remember how there was yeah. like a there was a cheerleader and there was another mom. version of that there film. Were two yes, of those. yes. This was the satirical one okay. directed by Michael Ritchie, wow. who did the movie Smile. Who's kind of in the Altman kind of yeah, yeah, band, yeah, yeah, yeah. Who was fantastic, and I went sure. in and read for him, and I was part. I was a sheriff's deputy in a montage of. Bo Bridges going to the sheriff and saying, my ex-sister-in-law wants me to murder someone. And they just kind of brushed him off. So there was this montage of people taking his statement. And I came in and he went, oh, one of the deputies is younger. Yeah, I like this. And then I read for him and he was like, he's like, all right, great. You got the part. Amazing. And I, again, I was like, what the fuck? (laughs) And even I knew, and I had read for other things. You know, like (laughs) I remember reading for... Golden Palace, which was the Golden wow. Girls after I think B. Arthur said enough and left. Okay. The other Golden uh, Girls after Mash ran, yeah, like yeah. ran a restaurant or something. Yeah. It was like for a part of an ethnic chef, you know. <laughs> like I, read, <laughs> you know, you know, you look at me yeah, yeah, yeah. and you think that guy yeah, yeah. is very, from somewhere warm. <laughs> uh, <laughs> right. That's what ethnic men. Back yeah, then. yeah, yeah, yes, yeah. Yeah. But I got and I got the part in that in wow. that movie and then. The next thing was Cabin Boy, man. and and you know playing the uh, damaged man child. Yeah, was right up my alley. Sure, and I I read for it once. And who'd you read for? Just a casting director or casting director? Okay. yeah, for the first time. And yeah, yeah and put me on tape, and and then um, great, and then thank you. I That's what they always say. Great, yeah, thank you. I, that was and great. Then they they yeah. had me read again, and uh, while I was still here, and then. It was at the end of my Brady Bunch tenure. Okay. And I went back to Chicago. I drove my Toyota pickup truck back to Chicago. Was at my mother's How house. How long a like drive living is that? My it's mother's two house. days? It's a couple of days, okay. yeah. I, I mean, you know, you can, however long you want to make it. But yeah. They, want, they said, we, we want you to come back and audition again. And I was broke. My, my mom was broke. L- luckily, 
my uncle had backed his delivery truck into my mother's car. No way. She took the insurance money from that, wow. bought me a, the cheapest Southwest ticket that <gasps> we could get, which had like four stops on yeah, the yeah, way yeah, to yeah, L.A. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Came back to L.A., stayed with a friend in Venice, slept on her couch, borrowed Jane Lynch's car, because <laughs> no Jane Lynch was, had, oh was, was back in Chicago story. and left her car there. Wow. So I borrowed her car. Got a bunch of traffic tickets, which I, you know, took me, I, you know, she got a call about and she still fucking gives me, tra you know, it's now joking, but she yeah. was pissed. I, yeah, you know, of but course, I was because like, back then $600 could undo you. Yeah, 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 yeah. It, was it wasn't between, that much, but okay. it was like, but I mean, yeah. I didn't have money. Right. And I no. just, and you know, and yeah. it's like, I wasn't, I don't, you know, like, well, I don't get parking tickets now hardly ever. I don't know what the fuck hardly, the problem was. Hardly ever. Yeah. Back then you had to be so careful. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but because if you got a parking ticket. It All your profit was yeah, gone. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So I came back, and I read again, uh -huh. once again. So that that was the third time, and this was for Adam. Wow. And then they had me read yet again. I stay. They're like, stick around. <laughs> we know what's gonna happen. You know. So I was at, like at my friend's house, and I yeah. I had gone and bought. I bought a foil tray and made a big tray of lasagna. And then I ate lasagna for every meal. That's awesome. Uh, and and then after that, because, and I mean, because the money was running out, I bought I bought bologna bread and cheese. And I then it was it. bologna sandwiches because yeah. I was there for like yeah. a week. Yeah. And I would buy a giant tub of peanut butter from a, a Costco or a, or the, I forget what the name of the other place in L.A. used to be where where you could get huge things of peanut butter. Yeah, yeah. And smart I, and final. I, maybe? Smart and final. Yeah, 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 smart, yeah. Neither smart, but final. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, uh, but. Yeah, that's what I would do. But okay, so so you so you get the weekend. I, and you're I, driving I, everybody I, who lives in LA crazy yeah. because here's this guy who comes out and is getting and, his, and I have yeah. nothing to do. I can't Amazing. afford to do yes. anything. Yes. So they, they I went back right at the beginning of it, and then they had me come back one more time, like after four days of yeah. sitting around just waiting for just that. Yes. And they <laughs> they when I went back to read. Uh, at the casting agency, before I went in, I asked to use the restroom, and the key fob, you know, the don't yeah. walk away with our key key yeah. fob, was a big, <laughs> long back scratcher, a plastic back scratcher, like with a hand. Yeah. And written down the, the shaft of the uh, back scratcher was, I'm itching to read for you. And then an actor's name, their phone number, and their oh, agent. Oh, my word. So somebody had gone out and made swag God, love them. thinking that these back scratchers are pretty clever and that will get me an acting job. My word. And I just was, I just remember like setting it on top of the urinal and just noticing it as I'm peeing and just feeling like my gut's dropping out. Like just, and again, like the desperation, the, the depress, you, know, yeah. you know how like oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. When, you, when you're already like yeah. sad most of the time and then you see something sad and it's just, oh, and that yeah. would, to me, that was the, the feeling was always like I felt like the insides of my abdomen just melted and pooled down at the bottom, like down on my pelvis. And yeah. I'm just like, oh, fuck, what am I do? just like, what am I doing with all of this? What an image. I went in and read again. Yeah. Later that day, they called and they said, w stick around. And I actually was like, I was like, I can't. Yeah, I said, there's I so many go, hoops. I got to go home. I got. Yeah. I said, I've read for you four times. And I, I said, I read four times. I think you know. Yeah. And uh, and then I went home, and then I got the job. And, Do you uh, remember how you found out? Drove back. <laughs> drove back in my pickup truck uh, back. Just a call, just a phone just call, a call, yeah, okay. from my agent. And they were were and, they excited when they oh called? Oh my you? god, they yeah. were they and were you, thrilled. And my, were you my, excited? My, oh, my agent, my agent said to me when he called me, he was like, "I cried oh. when they told me I cried." Oh. And then I was in his office about a month later, and he was making a call to someone telling him they got a job, and he went, "I cried." Oh <laughs> no! When I got the news, oh, I cried. No. Oh, That's how much it means. Oh and I was my like, gosh! Oh, my Phonies, yeah, these yeah, yeah. fucking They're phonies! They're so phony. Oh my word! And we buy every word of it. And and oh. what was even better was this agent that, like I said, had sent me out on all kinds of things. Yeah. Now I was just idiots. That's all <laughs> I ever saw. Was like barely oh, like oh, IQ of seven. Oh, that's dumb, so dumb idiots. Funny. And that's all they ever sent me out on from that point. Wow. Yeah. Wow.